you so much. Hi. I first want to say that um, you soothe me so much, and finding you has changed my life. And I do have a question that I had the day that I learned about you that has followed me, and it's about my parents and the relationship between me and my parents. I grew up feeling misunderstood by them. You were. <laughs> and you weren't I, wrong. Well, I grew up feeling connected to them. Yeah. And I grew up with friends that would come over to my house and say things like, your parents love you, but I don't think they like you. And I would be like, yeah, I know. <laughs> and I'm still looking for something. Well, we mentioned earlier that so many people are looking to be understood, and it's certainly a logical thing to look for it with your parents because society says that they're supposed to care the most, and they do. But it's not their job to hold you steady in their gaze. It's their job to hold them steady in their gaze. Which I don't think they're doing. Like, as their daughter, I want them in the vortex. <laughs> and I want to be in it with them. Like, I want to be with them because I love them, I feel connected to them, and I f I'm glad they manifested me. Like, <laughs> This is a perfect conversation to have. We had it a little bit earlier, too, that so many of you, when you get together, and it's logical that you're looking mostly at the materialism around you, meaning your bodies too. We mean all the physical stuff. It's logical that you would look to things that are happening in that for all of the satisfaction of everything that you care about. But sometimes you come with such intention, with such understanding that it is the expansion and the evolution that is the true fun of life. The ex Can you say that again? expansion that it is the exploration and then expansion it's the evolution that you come for joyous expansion you didn't come for regurgitation and you didn't come for a feathered nest and you didn't come for somebody else to create your reality for you mostly because they can't but you didn't come with any of those intentions either so sometimes in fact really often you come with strong agreements in clusters into these physical environments with the intention that goes something like this your parents saying we will provide an avenue for you to come forth and it will be a really good one it will be a really balanced one and you will figure out what you want and we will not be the vortex through which it all comes and not just talking about material things and not just talking about money but talking about all manner of all support because most children really believe that their parents owed it to them to support them in all ways emotionally mentally financially and when you're looking for something from someone that it was never intended to be that way and worse you compare it with others who it is more that way then your conclusion is there's something wrong with our relationship when we want to say everything was so very right with that relationship because if you were getting so much validation from them you would not be reaching to find out who you really are you would not be finding your own true guidance system you would not find satisfaction without their approval it's really interesting most people following this conversation or maybe even relating to it having lived something like it would probably say most people would probably say it would have been better for her if they had treated her more like they'd liked her or if they had liked her more it would have been better for her and we say it would have been more conditional it might have been more easy along the way to maybe feel some satisfaction but we promise you there would have been other things out of what in other words when you're looking to someone to give you what you think you need and you believe that you deserve it from them and they're out of the vortex as they obviously are and have been so they don't have it to give we talked about that earlier if you're not in the receptive mode you don't have anything to give but if they had been in the receptive mode and they had had it to give then would you ever really have been free of looking for the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one parents don't last that long they usually don't last as long as you do and so so when I sit down to do my rampage of appreciation don't force it okay because sometimes there's nothing there 
and then you feel guilty because there's yeah. nothing there yeah. there is a lot there you're just not in the vibrational vicinity of it and I shouldn't rush it can't rush it okay you can't fake it you can't offer a vibration that you haven't found harmony with let's talk about this a little bit so when you offer a rampage of appreciation we're just going to ramble a little bit and you see if you feel any resonance with this speaking from your point of view I'm thinking that about now I would like to express outwardly some things that I sincerely recognize as value in my relationship with my parents I said a part of it already I'm so glad that they provided an avenue for me to be here from where I now stand knowing what I now know I am happy that I didn't always have a feathered nest because I learned how to find my own feathers and I also learned that in the gathering of aspects of life that were important to me that I also found satisfaction and I have a sense I can't speak to it precisely because I lived a different life than a lot of people live with their parents but in my fending for myself for some emotional alignment I feel I found and I feel I still feel satisfaction that I don't think I would personally have found otherwise I have watched people and have had some experiences myself that when somebody does something for me that it sends two messages and I'm not even sure what message they mean to send but it sends two messages I do this for you which sounds like a really good thing you must like me I do this for you because I see you cannot do it for yourself so there's a sort of double-edged sword in that there's a sort of disempowering thing that happens there and the whole thing comes from a big misunderstanding and that big misunderstanding is I will be the mother or the father and I will get there first and I will bang around and I will figure out the ways of this strange place and I will learn who the good guys are and who the bad guys are and I will write it all down and I will remember and I will prepare myself for all the things that I need to warn my children about when they get here and when they get here I will then give them my undivided attention I will no longer seek satisfaction or things that are important to me I will let them be my sole source of satisfaction in fact I will live vicariously through them so much so that I will suffocate them I will smother the very life from them because I won't allow them to make their own decisions or get banged up in their own way or collect their own data or create their own vortex no 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 I will do all of that for them and they will love me for having done it and in the process I will create create weak weak children <laughs> nothing like that was the intention and in fact it would have sounded defiant had you been in your body when you said it it wasn't defiant it was just knowing from your non-physical perspective you said I will go forth and I will create my own reality and all I need is a way in all I need is a way in and opportunities to get my vortex primed, get that pump primed. Because I understand you said all the laws of the universe. I know my personal power. I know my relationship with my inner being and what it means. I know that life on planet Earth is about me sorting and sifting and deciding for me. And I don't want any parents in my way. And most parents are really in the way most parents don't let their children think for themselves they care too much they care about everything that you're doing and everything that you're thinking and you might think the wrong thought and you might not be prepared for the greater world as you get out into it or you have parents that are busy in their own world are busy in their own life or maybe even having a hard time finding their own balance but they are keeping their intention they're keeping their promise with you they provided an avenue in and it's been a stable environment when you really think about it because it's consistent yeah 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 because it gave you the opportunity to find your own guidance system and make other choices and make choices you can't choose how your parents behave you certainly can't choose how they have behaved but you can choose whether when you think about them you're in harmony with your inner being or not you can choose how you feel and you know when you care a lot about satisfaction we know we've just sort of gotten that going here today but when you really care about satisfaction so much so that if thoughts of your parents 
aren't satisfying, you stay off those thoughts. So in that process, you allow your belief system about them to sort of peter out. You allow it to sort of begin to deconstruct. You don't keep it active and alive because you're thinking about other things because that doesn't feel satisfying and you're into satisfaction in thoughts right now. And eventually, you may get to the place where you can think about them and find satisfaction, but it really doesn't matter. Because in all that you've lived, you created a desire in your vortex for a relationship with them, for a relationship that's pleasing for you. So all of that is there. And as you find more and more satisfaction by staying off the subject of them, or by eventually maybe even getting on the subject of them and feeling good, you will actually change the past because you will change your perspective of the past. You'll change your perception of the past. And instead of feeling cheated, you'll feel blessed. And instead of feeling not understood, you'll feel, oh, it was a bargain well kept. And instead of feeling like they should have done something differently, you'll feel like they did everything exactly right. Mm -hmm.